USB microphones. What is a USB microphone? Why would you use one? And what to look for when you're choosing one? So what is a USB microphone? Well, consider it a microphone and an audio interface all in one because that's exactly what it is. It has regular mic capsule, or in this case, capsules, and usually condenser microphone capsules, and it plugs in via USB and sends a signal directly in to your Mac, your PC, your iPhone, your iPad, your Android device, whatever you're connecting to. So it's a simple plug and play device. It doesn't need a preamp, it doesn't need an interface, and it does all the analog to digital conversion right here in the box. It's a pretty super magic box of goodness. Uh, now, if you compare this to a regular XLR microphone, like the one that I normally use on the show over here, well, the difference is that we need an interface and a preamp, and we need all sorts of things to connect this up. So you can do things a lot simpler just by plugging a USB microphone. Now, there's some drawbacks and there's some other things to consider, which we'll cover in this as well. Now, it does need an additional adapter for an iPhone or an iPad, so you'll need the Lightning to USB 3 adapter. Yet, sing along with me, folk, regular folks who are here on the channel, Lightning to USB 3 adapter, genuine Apple One, if you're connecting up USB devices. The third-party ones simply don't cut the mustard in my personal experience. Now, there's links in the description of this video to my complete guide to USB microphones, and there'll be also a video at the end of this one all about USB mics. So if you want to learn more, hang around to the end. You can check that one out. And you can also jump over to my gear guide. I have a gear guide over at studiolivetoday.com slash gear. That place there, if you're watching on the video, that's where you can go to find out all my recommendations for USB microphones. But let's jump in and talk about why you'd want to use one of these. Reason number one is convenience. It is so much easier than having to mess around with cabling and interfaces and mixers and setting a whole bunch of different gain settings across different devices. With a USB mic, you plug in, you dial in the gain setting, you turn the volume to your monitoring for your headphones. So you can see I've got a headphone in with this one and then you're off to the races. It's good to go. So that is point number one. If you want something, if you're getting into recording and you want a simple way to record your vocals, your guitars, any instrument, your guitar amp, USB mic, it's actually really good. Like USB mic capsules are using the same capsules they're using in XLR mics now anyway. So that's something to keep in mind. The cost is number two. This one is $150 US, which you might think, that's pretty pricey, Pete. But this is the AKG Lyra. It's got four capsules in there, four different polar patterns you can use. It's 24-bit, 192 kilohertz resolution, and it just does everything that I throw at it. And it's, get, it's got nice, clear, crisp audio, as you can hear, even coming through StreamYard into YouTube and into your live stream, I'm sure it's sounding pretty darn good. And when you're recording directly into a DAW, it sounds even better. So cost is really good and ease of use. As I said, it's super convenient to actually just have this and plug it in and go. Now, the drawbacks, of course, are that you can't upgrade, you can't plug in a guitar, you can't plug in a new microphone to this, you're stuck with whatever the converter is, so the digital converter or analog to digital converter and the preamp, they're all packaged in here. So there's no changing out components and doing things like that. So you do need to consider that, that if you want expandability in the future, you're kind of stuck. And you can only have one USB microphone at a time. So you might be thinking, oh, if I want to upgrade in the future, I'll just use a USB mic and a guitar interface doesn't work that way. You can only have one input and one output device at a time. So keep those things in mind. Uh, so what should you look for? Let's go into part three. What should you look for if you are in the market for a USB microphone? Well, yeah, there's a few things. A headphone jack is super important. So you, can, you can't see. In fact, I'll lift it up so you can see. At the bottom there, you can see, check one, two. You can see it's got a headphone jack and it's got the cable there. So I've got a USB cable plugged in and I've got my headphone jack plugged in. We'll pop it back down. And then the other thing is a volume control. So on the front of this one, I've got, I'll just talk like that for a moment. I've got a volume control so I can control the volume coming into my my headphones and then a mic gain control so on the back there we've got the ability to control the gain so if you're looking for a microphone those are the three things that i want to make sure that you're looking for make sure it has a headphone jack make sure it has volume control and input gain control they're super important things and then think about the quality so the sampling rate this one i said is 24 bit 
192 kilohertz. So that's what I would actually lean towards. A lot of the more entry-level ones, like the Samsung Meteor that I've recommended in the past, are only 16-bit. Now, that's not a showstopper. You still get decent quality audio. CD quality is 16-bit, but if you want the best quality, look for a USB mic with 24-bit. Once again, if you want to see all my recommendations for USB microphones and all the other gear, head on over to studiolivetoday.com slash gear and uh, check out my USB microphone complete guide that'll be at the end of this one and down in the description.